Good evening, everyone. System Chalk here for the 92nd episode of our Book of Hours playthrough for YouTube. First one playing as the artist, and we've not yet completed the game, but we've gotten the first component. When I say haven't completed the game, I mean across my playthroughs, but we have gotten the first component that would be required for uh, a major victory, and that is our Newman, the sun's weaknesses. So we found that in uh, as a result of a hint that we got from one of the other books. Now, our plan for today isn't really related to the Newman. There's, I mean, it's it's not bad that we have it, but in the end, we're not quite at the point. It did say, you know, to be able to write this into, into a book. Uh, we need a suitable desk and we need 25 of a matching aspect. So, you know, even, even though my Grail is reasonably powerful, right? Resurgence is an emergence. Actually, I guess Edict's Liminal would be my best moth, so. Um, and we do have Moth here, so we've got 15, uh, we've got 15 to work with here. You could add the Trist, which I guess would bring us up to 17. And I suppose maybe, I guess Fog wouldn't help us, so, um, with the, um, well, sorry, I guess the memory wouldn't, wouldn't be relevant because we've already got the Newman. But yeah, as you can see, like, we're kind of getting there, but not, we're definitely not at the, we're not at the, the point where we can really, uh, we can really um, deliver. So I'm going to tuck this away with the other, uh, the other book. So the three and the three was one that was too difficult for us to read, but the sun disfigured was one that we could, uh, we could handle. Now, one thing that's also worth remembering here, right, is that because the Newman we can reread the book, and the Newman does give uh, does come back as a as an option. Now, this isn't something that you would know without testing, but I can tell you right away that you can only have one Newman at a time. So if you have multiple books, so like let's say just for the sake of the argument that we read the three and the three, um, it, it would replace this Newman even though it gives me a different one. So you you can't just kind of put all of these persistent memories in your inventory and, and laugh at any challenge that comes up. But it is worth remembering now that we have a reliable way of generating five grail, lantern, or moth. And we may not really be able to apply it to too many of these challenges here, right? So as it is, these uh, these aren't like these aren't the most helpful for my current batch of challenges, but I think it's also fair to say that we can expect, oh, that's the lantern changes actually. So let's let's take a minute and think about what happens with Reverend Timothy there. So Reverend Timothy gives us two. We could also give him the Foss, which brings him up to four. The lantern would bring him up to nine, and then the mirror scope would bring him up to 10. So at that point, we really just need to find another two through drinks, candles, or in fact, candles, I think are pretty straightforward. Let's go for, um, so widow's candle doesn't do the trick. I'm looking for like the basic candles right now. So watchful candle is possible. We have bigger candles, right? So we've got the history wax candle has got three, but I'm not quite ready to give up the, the good stuff. Uh, I do believe there's a lantern-y drink. Uh, obviously, the second flush of some is a little, a little short, but maybe the Dawn Lion coffee? Nope, that's a one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Dawn Lion, Dawn Lion, cup of Dawn Lion coffee, and he's good to go. Um, so we'll we'll save that. We, I don't want to spend money to to do that it'd be nice to get it opened up but we've we've got other things that we can do with the the day but yeah we we know that we've got the uh weird curse spire in our in our pocket oops no tuppets no beer so that was a uh, waste unfortunately It is winter and the storms have tightened the seas. I am sitting before the fire in the sweet bones with a beef and potato pasty in one hand and a hot ale posset in the other. Oh, the apple bright euphonies. I should double check. So I've got those. So that is grail and sky. So if I want, I could use the sun's weaknesses for this, but we could probably take the memory gossip and the solace. We can actually use that right now. Now foresight doesn't help me. That would have helped me with um, pyroglyphics. 
But there we have it. There it is, and can be no tizzer. Mrs. Kill, as every local gossip knows, came from France to marry Mr. Kill, but there's scant trace of the continent in her accent now. But let's get the Apple Bright Euphonies taken care of. Now, this is going to get a little awkward here because it's Grail and Sky, and my Faust is already taken care of. And so is my Arab, so I'm probably going to need to restore one of these before too long. But anyways, we have what it takes to get at least one level out of these. So there's the core. Let's use the rain in this case, because that's going away. Actually, the storm is the rarer of the two, so or, let's use the gossip. I'm no expert, but I'm no dabbler either. Improve the skill to level three. So we can use the solace um, in the storm. Technically, we could use the sun's weaknesses as well. I have a feeling we're probably going to get what we need just over the passage of time, so... So let's think about what I'm going to need to put together. I do need three elements of the soul. Yeah, I need three elements of the soul to get snow, so uh, snow stories. Hang on. Why do I need three? I've got the tryst already. I just need two. Okay, no, I've got it now. So three elements of the soul between uh, what I need to supplement for Applebright Euphonies. Um, with that in mind, I'm going to use my health to garden. The garden's a plush household, plants with many virtues for those with the wisdom and uh, wisdom to recognize them. So, leaves and thorns. Few flowers flourish in the depths of winter, but Blue Crown is one of those few. The skill is now level 3, its power aspects have also increased, and gossip! That is great news. So, we're going to want to pay to get uh, a core or an Arab back. Otherwise, uh, we're in good shape. And I think... So, let's have a chat with Mrs. Kill. So again, just a reminder, uh, Applebright Euphonies needs Grail or Sky, so if I had Arab or Kor available to me, I would be able to, um, I would actually be able to commit that right away. Because I only have Whist, which is Winter and, uh, sorry, Winter and Lantern, Metal, which is Edge and Forge, and Shaft, which is Forge and Knock, uh, I'm not actually able to, I'm not able to improve this. But, uh, because we're not currently doing the improvement, what I can do is I can use the consider verb to catalog. Actually, I don't even need to worry about the consider verb. I can just commit. Uh, I can just worry about those at the desk. So because I don't have anything else to do for the day, um, and we know that we've sort of secured everything else that I want, now I feel safe enough to be able to do this cataloging. Okay, better now. So I'm going to leave the core down below because we're going to use that to level up Apple Bright Euphonies, but I can use the metal to do fixing and mending. There's not much work on offer in Brand Crew, but I can find sixpence worth of odd jobs. And I feel okay using the metal or the shaft. Uh, I feel a little bit better using those because Wist in an emergency I could use to level up Snow Stories. Let's just say for whatever reason my Trist wasn't available or I made a mistake. Um, that's uh, that's not just an opportunity for me to, to have a backup. Okay, there's the core. Another fruit plucked from Knowledge's tree. So for that, we'll put a level 2 down here, and then we'll make space for a level 4. <laughs> there's another satisfaction. There it is, and can be no tizzer. Mrs. Kill, as every local gossip knows, came from France to marry Mr. Kill, but there's scant trace of the continent in her accent now. Now I have an idea of this book's nature and its contents. It is written. It's technically one of the easier books that I have, but I don't know if I can put together eight scale. We're going to have to have a think about that. More importantly, it's not cursed, so I'm going to be able to keep my fet. This book was probably written around the time of Hush House's baronial period, roughly the 1500s to 1700s. If I examine it, I can learn more about what knowledge it might contain. 
Uh, let's actually take a, an inventory of these. So for scale, uh, pentiments and precursors is probably my best bet there. Yeah, so I've got four. Health would bring me up to five. No, we can handle that. So health with five, the serpent styled glass brings it up to six, and then we do something like a memory fear, which I'd love to take overnight with me, but I think I'm coming up short. So I'm gonna read that overnight, actually. Hmm, that means I need to bring my health back. Skill is now level four, its power aspects have also increased. Okay, I'm starting to overcommit to things. Okay, let's just take a minute here. Um, I want to slow down for a second and make sure that I'm... Okay, so... It's close with gathering in winter, but I think I'm gonna be able to make this happen. So I'm gonna keep the fear for snow stories. Again, we needed two to level that up. So as an outside option, I take the shaft and the wist and force the two winter memories in. Yeah, we'll be fine. But I do need to prioritize um, restoring my health when the time comes. Sunrise Awakenings, an uncharacteristically poignant meditation by the edgelong Trog of Marionid, uh, who later came to Hush House under a variety of other names, often in search of some sort of light. Lots of books that we can read. Um, so while I'm at it, uh, okay, more gossip. I'm going to take a quick minute here and just take an inventory of what we're capable of reading. So nothing's really changed with my um, my rose skills, but I'd actually like to just take a moment and see where we're sitting with these things. So we've got three, I've got fat, which can bring that up to five, and I've got, I guess, only uh, two, so we can get up to seven, eight. Okay, so, I mean, we... In a pinch, I guess we roll the dice. I'm not 100% sure how I am with um, with rose inks right now. Um, I'm thinking we don't have much. Okay, well, that's that's that. Um, Cooker bit prisoner record. So originally, I would have said no. Yeah, we're we're still no on that. Focus of amber. Hard to see where the extra sky comes from. Yeah, forge. We didn't really. Well, we boot. We did boost forge. We've got pyroglyphic six now. So let's let's take the time to actually work this out. So. Uh, six with deep man diac, so that's eight. Metal would be ten. Um, memory would be twelve, and then thirteen with a tool. But then I'm assuming that I have two things that could. Oh, excuse me. Two things that could boost the reading, which I don't think is a good assumption. Definitely can't do the wound wounds. Nin's cages is a sixteen heart. Yeah, okay, so we're we're not really at the point. Like, we've got... We've got sort of a start on some things that we'll be able to read. Um, Nyx Abelix is kind of interesting. So if our Sickle and Eclipse is up to six now... Okay, so in a perfect situation... We could take a Wormwood Dream, combine that with Sickle and Eclipse. That would bring us up to 12. Trist would be 13. Um, I don't think Fusine gives me Moon. Yeah, so we're at 13 of 16. Uh, the Catwink 
doesn't quite do the trick. We do the cat wink and then hope we get lucky on the rotation. That's probably it. Okay, it is what it is. Um, and then I think the 26 enticements, 7 torments is in a similar boat, except that we now have the Newman. So that could trivialize it, actually. So 6 and 5 is 11. And then we get a 3 there. Yeah, no, this thing, this thing's a piece of cake for us to read. All right, that's a fair amount of reading to start off with. As I used to say in my youth, uh, the day is done and so am I, but I've earned my pay. So what are we looking at here? 21 seconds. Good lord, this is going to be a tight window, but I'm feeling okay. Um, all right, let's work on Snow Story. So this is a pretty easy one for me to work with here. So we take our Shapt. And for this, uh, we can take the Contradiction because the Contradiction gives me the Moon. And then likewise with the Tryst, we'll just take um, Glimmerings. And no matter what Mrs. Kill gives me, we know that we're able to level up Snow Stories and that it's not going to get overwritten. I gotta be really careful with the timing for the health, but I have a... So there's a, a bit of... As soon as I saw the sphere and I figured out that I would be able to read It Is Written, it did actually occur to me that I have... Uh, I have a pretty good argument for reading it overnight. So a few flowers flourish in the depths of winter. Blue Crown is one of those few. Can I even fit you on this shelf here? I can. So let's imagine for the moment that I was somehow able to, um, I was somehow able to take this fear overnight. What would, what would happen? What would be the big penalty? Um, you know, we would essentially take it overnight. We would, or it's not so much of a penalty, but basically what we would do is we would take it overnight. We would first thing in the morning take the health and then we would start reading the book and then halfway through the day we would get the result so what happens if i read uh overnight well i've got my health and i'm you know i i'm not going to get it restored at dawn now normally the reason why you don't do that is because there's something you can do with that health otherwise and then you know you'd be earning money or whatever uh, but in this case here um I, it actually makes sense for me to not have my health tomorrow if it means that I'm able to take advantage of the fear today. So there's kind of two ways you can do that temporal transfer of the memory. One is to rest on the memory, but you're not stuck if you have a bed that doesn't like isn't accommodating of the memory that you need. If you find a way of being able to use that memory in a way that you would the next day overnight, it, effect, it has the same, uh, effectively, it has the same result. You just wind up switching the availability of that element of the soul to the present day over the, um, over the future. So as long as I, I get my um, health back before, uh, before sunrise, I'm, I'm okay. I can commit that. And in fact, I'll have the memory, or the uh, skill, the lessons to work with uh, even earlier than I, I would normally get them. So that's also a nice little bonus. Okay, Solace. Not quite sure what I want to take overnight. Okay, again, we've read Glimmerings a couple of times already, but we haven't read Deoris Book 3. In Latin, a 19th century reprint by the indefatigable Nathaniel Darcy Evers of a 14th century Latin translation of a 4th century work. This is usually described as a third volume of Deoris, but Darcy Evers' foreword argues persuasively that it's a substantial reworking by the original author. The lionsmith makes monsters, the colonel has his scars, but the Deoris now insists that neither can truly defeat the other, that they must at some level understand these limits and their strategies, and that their enmity is an eternal engine of the world. 
All right, so we're gonna take those and we're going to combine them with snow stories to produce level three. Better now, so I better hope that I've got eight seconds left in <laughs> in the evening. Oh wait, I don't need to because uh, I've got the desk. Um, in fact, I'm kind of relying on the desk. So so one last one. Serpent style glass. Can master this mystery. The skill is now level three, its power aspects have also increased. So we did uh, already talk about what we're going to try and do today because we have the Newman to. Uh, pushes over the edge. So again, the temptation is to use the Newman to read the 26 enticements, but in this case, uh, it makes some sense to talk with Reverend Timothy. So we're going to use the Shaft in this case because we want to boost him with the Faust. So Reverend Timothy en enjoys thoughtful conversation, prayer, and tea, and he'll offer assistance in return for a one shilling donation to church funds. So we'll do that now. Now, normally I would just rely on the follower, the follower, but Reverend Timothy, um, in a delightful feature, but slightly inconvenient, it takes 45 seconds to talk about topics. So I'm also going to talk with Mrs. Kill so I can get the efficiency of memories. Not that I really need to worry about them that much, but I do have, uh, basically I've got the book that I'm reading, so we are still going to try and upgrade some things. Um, we are going to work at the Sweet Bones to try and make some money. There's not much work on offer in Brand Crude, but I can find six pence worth of on jobs. And depending on what the weather brings, we'll, uh, Cloudy Day doesn't really do that much for us. Mrs. Kill stands ready to help. You always cheer me up, she says morosely, and we do appreciate the contribution. Reverend Timothy, rector of Brand Krug, ordained by the Church of the Unconquered Son, a learned man, blessed in the tally, the gate, and the light. So let's have a chat with him about the sun's weaknesses. I can discuss a memory with my assistant. And again, we're sitting on our elements of the soul because I'd like to see what comes out of it is written. Carried a memory like a flambeau safe through the mazes of night. This will complete once dawn has come. Although one thing I can do because my FET is free. I can actually read the Sun's Division again, seeing as we will have other uses for that text. I've already mastered this, but I could reread it and perhaps recall the memory. So again, the plan for today is to open up the Weird Cursed Spire. I don't have too much in terms of ambitions for these other rooms, but we'll see. And uh, again, this is one of these ones I know some people have asked. So just so I can be clear, um, this was a little less obvious at the start of the when the game first came out, but there are actually other people that you can use to assist you in opening up the rooms of the house, and they can be quite powerful. So I have occasionally got some questions in terms of why I don't use them, and it's largely the same reason why... It's pretty much the same reason why I don't use any given thing uh, at the time. It's not that I don't find them useful, it's that I don't find them useful at that time. So much like how I don't use the Pale Marrow when, uh, when I have other potential things I can do with Mr. Kill, uh, similarly I'm not using these other hirelings because I have, I have other options available. So for instance with Mr. Kill, right, we said it's like, okay, it's tempting use, to use the Pale Marrow, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to hold off. Maybe there's another opportunity that'll come up later. 
Well, as it happens, we opened up the relevant room and that room wound up telling us, hey, you know, we only need 11 winter. Well, that's easy for me to get with Mr. Kill, so we opened up that room instead. And if I'd already tied him up uh, trying to get that 13 room, the low hanging fruit would have uh, would have passed by without um, without any benefit. So that's kind of the reason why I run it the way that I do. Um, I, I was talking about how it was sort of feeling like the progress was grinding down a little bit. And so I was going to sort of break the seal and start using some of that other assistance. But as it turns out, we've had plenty of opportunities to, um, you know, to do more. Um, and so, and as it happens, getting the treasure of the house um, has now opened up some other possibilities, both in terms of books and different rooms. And so, as a result, we've been able to push uh, push back that um, that opportunity. The other thing too, right, is that we're we're taking note of a few things. So, for instance, with the Kronz Accord, if I can find a way to build one of those, that's something that I could use to improve Reverend Timothy or Mr. Kill. <laughs> Excuse me, or even Denzel. Uh, to open up certain rooms. The question is whether or not I need to in those those situations. As I used to say in my youth, the day is done and so am I, but I've earned my pay. It is winter and the storms have tightened the seas. I am sitting before the fire in the sweet bones with a beef and potato pasty in one hand and a hot ale posset in the other. I'm also recording this at a highly unadvisable hour. Um, but <laughs> it is also... Uh, I also have coffee, so I'm probably going to be wired for... <laughs> probably till dawn at this point. Anyway, we're... Uh, just a reminder, we're looking for 12 Lantern. Oh, I've already given him the memory. What was I thinking? I think I'm actually coming up short. No, 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 it was the Dawn Lion coffee, right. Uh, it is written, Musgrave, fourth of the DeWolf line, writes tentatively about the Covenant of Bran Krug. This is something I should pay attention to. Uh, and the legacy of the sacred inks he calls in Casta Potential, uh, sorry, Potential, Potentialia. As the light passeth through a prism into many colors, so the great inks separateth into the lesser inks, and the lesser inks into inks minor. Musgrave coyly refers to uh, talk of the great inks, or else refuses to admit he doesn't know that much about them. He insists that Yugal and Stargall, which can be mixed with sufficient nectar or sky aspect, are sufficient for most befitting purposes. Okay, if you can just give me a quick second here. There we go. Now, I think Inks of Power is a new one for me. Which is good, because I actually wanted to restore one of them. Okay, well that gives me a confounding parable, so apparently the um, DeWolves are rather good at that. But, I'm back to the old problem of... Um, not enough shelf space. Oh dear. Um... Okay, here's how I'm going to fix this problem temporarily. I'm going to put 108 in my inventory because I know 108 is confounding parable. I think the second glory is a hindsight. So that, like, proximity is what saves me on that one. But I'm, I now have two sets of shelves that I need to start uh, figuring out the plan for. Actually, um... Here's what I do.
Not my favorite solution, but it'll uh, it'll cover me for now. So this is going to be confounding parables. trying to think if there's any other reshelving I want to do but I think that'll I'll settle up with that for now okay so I'm getting the memory back let's uh, do inks of power so use this lesson to acquire a new skill now it's a little um it's a little late in the day to be doing this, but I'm expecting that Sunrise Awakenings is not going to give me that much to work with. So we'll throw Auroral Contemplations at it, and then we should be able to read the... Uh, we should be able to read... or We should be able to make sense of the... Or we'd like to deal with the remaining or the resulting skills by the end of the day. Although I am kind of taking my life in my hands doing this, actually. But you know what? We'll we'll have some fun with that. Okay, and we'll read the Sun Disfigured one more time, a scroll of anthropoderm parchment written in the golden ink called Uzalt. This ha uh, book houses a Newman, a truth so powerful that it can perhaps believe itself. The author of the text calls, uh, sorry, the author of the text calls herself the Elagablian. Sometimes she seems to be Sunset C uh, Celia, the Watchman's name. Sometimes she seems to be Lady Trifon, the Grail Long. It is unclear whether these are separate entities or the same person. It may be unclear even to the writer. The flaws in the sun's plan are elucidated. The sun's plan itself is never entirely clear, but it is a project of some kind to enter, possess, or surrender to the glory, the pure light above the mansus. This book suggests ways in which that plan might fail. And I know I'm at... I'm kind of at the... Um, I'm at the end of the, the stream time, but I do want to get Reverend Timothy up to the proper level because imagine how upset I would be if I had the chance to open up the Weird Cursed Spire and then failed. So those tools boosted their aspects appropriately. One last task. So Don Lion Coffee, Coffee from Beyond the Great Deserts. I can offer my assistant something to drink. This will increase their aspects. They'll also be glad of the refreshment. And if I have time at the end of the day, I will make sure that I feed uh, tuppence. Shoot. This is going to sting. All right, that'll do. Uh, only thing I want to change is the languages. So it's because inks of power um, got placed kind of off screen. Uh, 
Oh, actually, hang on. No, this isn't this isn't how I like to do it. Um, so we'll stick you to the edge here. be a level two, so we might as well put that in position. All right, that feels a little bit better. All right, so we're gonna level up, uh, not strings and songs, inks of power. Take the confounding parable, which we got from the book, and because this thing does have a rose aspect, we'll use the fat there. Okay, now, uh, we still have some elements of the soul left, but at this point we want to see what we're getting after reading this book. Better now. Uh, I'm also... I feel a little weird doing this, but I do want to grab another... I really should have chose to do this earlier in the day, but I do I do actually want the... the blue crown. Just because we needed to replace at least one Solomon's preparation, and I, uh, I'm likely going to do that again. Okay, the weird curse spire. Seven years ago, someone pronounced a curse here in the name of the sun and its many selves. This place was not the curse's target, and nor was I, but its poison fills the air around me. I should not enter here until it's cleansed. Could be dangerous. Timothy, you go first. All right, and I think that is it for today. Um, I know I'm getting close to a 40-minute video, which for some people is a wonderful thing, and other people is the... <laughs> uh, it results in a few eye rules. So uh, I will do my best to uh, to keep it in a, in a reasonable time. But like I said, I am actually quite happy with how this week turned out. So I've got enough books now that I need to change my shelving system. We got the last of sort of the rooms of the... F if you kind of think of it, like, the game already divides it among the different uh, periods. So, like, we've got the solar period, the curia, the baronial. These are baronial. This is nocturnal. Um, I guess it's really dawn that we haven't um, explored yet. But if you sort of think of this as the main house, right? Like, all of the rooms in sort of that first area that's not connected by bridges or tunnels or anything like that. We're actually unlocking the top, and there is an achievement that you get for this, incidentally. Um, so that's kind of a nice milestone to hit. Uh, it was also a nice surprise to find a couple of extra books, and clearly the Newman is going to be helping us out in terms of getting to new places. We've already seen that with this accomplishment, but also in terms of giving us access to some new books. And in turn, we'll be using all of that to... Uh, you know, to improve our ability to, to access even more books. And then, of course, as the seasons go by, we'll be earning Spintria, we will be buying new books, we'll eventually get hit by Enuma, and we'll take advantage of the opportunities presented by that. Overall, uh, we're in a pretty nice spot for this playthrough. And uh, when the new seasons come, so first of all, when spring comes, uh, we were often talking about how I wanted to take, uh, I wanted to, to take the miners who are visiting and uh, use their their specific scale to open up the um, the rustling stair, and I feel like there was another scaly one, but we had the rustling stair and maybe the ravage cellar. I mean, obviously, I was thinking that we'd use Mr. Kill for that, but depending on what the depending on what the the season brings, um, there was a specific memory. I think it was the old moment. And I found a way of making the old moment without relying on the Lignum Vitae Blanc. Uh, so that's going to be the priority for spring. And of course, the new season will also mean that I have a little more flexibility in terms of reading the various books. And then if we exhaust our possibilities, and again, we always say that if, and uh, there's other things that come up, but if we exhaust our possibilities, I'm absolutely willing to start uh, opening up a few a few more rooms using the special help. And of course, because we've held off for so long in doing that, we've got a nice little uh, nest egg to, to draw down. 
But all of that will be happening next week. So thank you everybody for watching. Um, I have a lot of fun doing these videos and I hope you are still enjoying watching them. But uh, I'm going to get some sleep. <laughs> I hope you have a nice weekend and we'll be back Monday for another episode of Book of Hours. Until then, take care.